Hi, my name is Fernando Herboso and I am the founder for Maxus Realty Leads and today I'm going to show you the most inexpensive way how you can generate leads for yourself if you are a real estate agent. Follow me. I want to show you how we can use these funnels that I've been working with for the last 10 years and I use this for my own real estate team where I can show them how to generate leads for themselves so you can start creating relationships and then you can start having closings that you need basically to maintain yourself busy and successful. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of run down to most important factor for this uh, type of business. Okay. And uh, this is about the way how we used to collect leads in the past. You know, we used to go knock and knock, knock on doors and basically says, hey, I'm here to tell you I'm a neighborhood expert. And uh, basically that was the only way you could do it before the internet. Now you have the internet and you have the future in your hands. We're talking about AI. We're talking about different ways that you can have a virtual door knocking where you can actually knock in a thousand doors in one single second with no problem. You know, this is why we use social media to be able to share this funnel so you can attract the persons that are more interested so you can work with them. What I mean is this, that when you're working, uh, as you, and you're trying to get leads for your business, you know, you are just like a fisherman. Fisherman, you are putting all these poles already baited so you can catch fish. You're not just doing one time; you're doing five, six, seven, ten times. And um, the minute that you catch somebody, then you can work with that person so you can convert them into client, so you can finally become a transaction for yourself. And those. Those poles that are in the water waiting for these clients to bite are basically the funnels. And the only thing you have to do is just place them there and wait for somebody to bite. That's what you're doing. That's exactly what I'm talking about when you're working with uh, these funnels. So let me show you a little bit about what are these funnels about because uh, and give you an example. Uh, why these funnels exist. This number one over here is for foreclosures. This is a way to attract a lot of people, especially first time home buyers that want to save money and they want to buy a foreclosure. And this is something that we are giving them to give them the top 10 foreclosures in the area. Once they go through this funnel, they're going to sign up with you. And basically that's when you know, you start working with them to find out, is there anything else we can do to help you, you know, and get you info, get the information necessary for you to be prepared to buy a house. This is a great way to start with, uh, with first time home buyers. The house hunter, which is another way how we uh, also um, attract more buyers is because we're telling them that we know about the hidden inventory that exists when we live in, whenever we're trying to find a home for them. A lot of buyers right now, they think that because they have the internet, they have access to all the listings and we tell them there's a hidden inventory out there and it's a jungle out there and we're going to be their guides. You need to really check the, the message that we portray on the house hunter funnel because once somebody reads that, they're going to feel more comfortable with you so they can call you and start working with you. Then another type of lead that's very important to understand is this, that people, they go into a pre-foreclosure. Whenever there's a homeowner that hasn't paid for the last six months or four months, depending on your area, you know, by law, they're supposed to be uh, notified that they will be going through a foreclosure. That's called a notice of default. You have access to that on MLS. You have access to that in different ways that in the internet find out who is behind on the mortgage payment, who is going to pre foreclosure, and you can contact them by just going through and find their numbers, the telephone numbers. You have free access to the internet, and I, I, and basically you can go to uh, uh, people search and look up the phone number, and then from there you can send them a text from your phone and just tell them, hey, did you know that you have options in case you're losing your home? Call me. And you're given, you're given the URL for this uh, funnel. And when you read this funnel, it is a conscientious effort to tell the homeowner that you don't have to lose your home. We're here to help you. We're here to give you the options that you need to save your house. And that's really what you're trying to do. Open up a relationship so you can start working with them because this is a future seller for you. In some cases, it may end up to be a short sale, which still is a good way to get started in business. It's better than not doing anything and not talking to these people at all. This is the way how you can connect with them. 
First time home buyers. This is another thing that a lot of people are going to be in the future. Uh, 2025, 2026, a lot of the purchases are gonna be from first time home buyers and they need help. And they're gonna have some help from the government and from different, uh, different institutions to be able to get the money for the down payment. They wanna know what's the process. They wanna know how they can get started. And this is a way how to tell them that you are able to help them that. So they see this inside your Facebook or inside your Instagram or something that you're doing in a response on a, on a, on a post somewhere and just say, I specialize on first time home buyers and drop this link. And that's another way to be able to, to help your business to attract more, uh, more buyers. The rent to own is basically just like a, like a nest where eggs are being hatched. These are the future home buyers. So when you're advertising, for example, in Facebook, and you're saying that you have some rent to own properties, the only thing you have to do is look for those rent to own properties and you're bright uh, on your MLS. You know, the ones that we use is bright MLS in this area. So even if you just find one property, you can send them that link for that property. Here is one. That's the only, the only thing we have. You know, basically, in most cases, you're not going to find a rent to own home in the areas they're looking for. But by the way, why are you trying to rent to own? Is there any way that I can check and maybe help you in your application to be able to see if you can qualify to buy a house right now? There are many programs that exist right now from the government that can help you purchase a home. So will you be open for us to work with you in that manner? So basically that's a way how to convert this rent to own people to a, a first time homeowner and the way how you attract them, the, the, the bait that you're using is basically the rent to own. There's nothing wrong with that because there are rent to own properties available. They may not want to buy at all. You can still work with them. But if you don't have no rent to own properties in your area, just tell them, I don't have no rent to own properties. I will let you know when they come up, when they come up. But by the way, you think you may be able to qualify to buy a house. Let me help you. That's the way how you can utilize the rent to own funnel. Then we got another uh, another one that we use that is very important for a lot, for listings is basically the absentee homeowners. Absentee homeowners has always been a great source of sellers. If you are the resource that's giving them the information of what they need to do in order for them to sell the property in your area, you know it's a great thing. So this is for the person that lives three four states away from where you are, and they have a house that, that they're renting right around your office where you work. So now you're communicating with these people. How can you find those people? The only thing you have to do is go to, to the MLS, find out all the absentee owner homes in your area, and then find out who the owners are. Go to People Tracker. PeopleTracker.com basically will find the name, the phone numbers, and then just connect with them. Whether either you call them or send them a text with the URL for your absentee homeowner funnel. And then they're gonna see that their options may be better for them to sell at this time and still keep renting it. And that's when they're gonna call you because you're giving them value. Check out our rent to own funnel because it has the right ingredients to attract those homeowners that live very far away and they're really tired of renting their houses and they're ready to sell. It's a great thing for listings. Another funnel that works a lot for us that is really good is that we're giving the first time home buyer or any home buyer an option to be able to secure a 0% down. In some cases that exists. I'm not telling them that I'm gonna give every one of them 0% down payment, but this is the bait for them to come to us because now we're going to give them a guide. We're gonna give them the information that we know how to check with the government institutions, with the government grants and the state on the counties, in the cities itself where they have some grants to help these home buyers buy a house and they want that money. They want that grant because they want to save money. And you're going to be the source for them. You're going to be able to do that because you have this funnel that is ready to give them that information. The only thing you have to do is just drop this in a, in a Facebook post and say, hey, did you know that you can buy a house with 0% down? Connect with me and put the link in there. That's all. And wait until people respond to you. It's very, it's very easy. This is another one. A lot of people, they are, 
you know, self-evaluating themselves before they buy a house. They're not talking to a realtor yet. They know they want to buy a house, but their credit sucks. Basically, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. They say, I'm going to wait until my credit is good to be able to buy a home. Well, when they see this post on your Facebook, Instagram, or wherever, or you're going to a response to a blog post on Twitter or threads or somewhere like that when somebody's asking about how do you fix your credit or how do you buy a house or when they see this picture that you can boost your credit by 100 points in just one call that is the bait that we're using for the people to bite basically and then when they come to you and then you connect with them these are the ones that you need to refer them to the people that you're already working with which is your loan officer or specifically a person that does uh, loan modifications. I mean, sorry, a, a specific person that does help uh, credit repair for people. And because of that, then when you connect with them, you have their name, you have their number, and when they're ready to buy, they're going to be calling you. That's a perfect way to do that. You're trying to help people prior to be able to uh, buy a home, and that's what you're going to do. So this is the reason why I think it's very important for you to be uh, carrying Maxus Realty Groups with you to help you lead generate every single day. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can get started with just $15, because with $15, you're gonna get a sample funnel for you to test it, because you're gonna test it at the same time, you're gonna be able to go ahead and collect leads from this funnel. All those leads are gonna come to you, but most importantly, this is what I want you to do. I want you to use that funnel and talk to a loan officer, somebody you're working with, and say, hey, can we help each other collect leads to be able to help these people, to work with people, especially buyers, you know, and, and tell them about this funnel. Tell them that how we can collect these leads by just helping you position those funnels and those uh, fishermen polls in different areas and social media. If he does five days or five, I mean five places, if he puts this on five places in one day and you do five places in another place, another, another place, that's 10 places where you have all these fishing poles waiting for fish. And that's, that's really how you're going to be able to get momentum to be able to get as many leads as possible so you can start working. And you're going to do this day after day after day because I even have a calendar that you can utilize to be able to be uh, organized to see which, pro which funnels you should be sharing and how you should be sharing these funnels. So everything is done for you. So when you partner with a loan officer, then you're basically sharing the monthly cost of $50, which is $25 a piece, to be able to have all these funnels and at the same time, every single month, you're going to always have one more extra funnel, one new funnel that's going to help you in, uh, even to get more leads for you. So basically, it is a no-brainer for anybody who wants to work. If you are not doing anything, you don't have enough leads, you don't have enough business, at least try this. With $15, you can get started, or with $25 a month with another loan officer, you can start working day after day after day and start collecting those leads. Oh,